it's Roger Bisby again from Skill Builder and I'm back at Makita to look at another one of their tools and this time actually what we're going to be looking at is not the drill itself but this tungsten carbide tipped hole saw that they've got. So we've all seen conventional hole saws, the things with the multi-teeth like that and although they're great they can struggle sometimes to do overheat so what the manufacturers have come up with is this tungsten carbide tip hole saw which has just got these very sharp little carbide tip teeth the same sort of thing that you would get in a saw blade but of course in a round format like that and there are fewer of them than there are of these but they do a great job and because there are fewer of them the torque isn't quite so critical as it is on the hole saw. In other words, when you put this in, you'll notice that it doesn't struggle in quite the same way and it doesn't overheat. It actually goes through like a dose of salts. And you can use these on brickwork, you can use them on thermalite, you can use them on all kinds of different materials. But I would say that once you've done that, they're never gonna be as sharp as they are when you first get them out. And if you continue to just use them on board materials and wood, you'll get a lot longer life than you will if you go hacking through thermalite, but you can do it. And you can also give them a little sharpen up if you want to with a green grit wheel or a diamond just to bring them back to life. But don't ever expect them to be as good as the day you get them out the box. That's just one of those things you have to cope with that in life. If you hit a nail with them, it'll still work, but it's never gonna be as sharp as it was on day one. So I suppose what I ought to do really is to show you the hole saw just for a comparison. If we go through with the hole saw first and we just give that a go, make sure we don't have it on hammer setting. And I think what we do is because there's quite a lot of torque on this, we run it through, I suppose we can run it through fast, it'll do no harm. So long as I don't push it too much, it'll be fine. So that's the first one, conventional hole saw. And this is the tungsten carbide tip hole saw. Got a bigger arbor, you can tell it's quite a chunky thing there. And um, let's tighten that up. We'll keep it on the same setting that I kept the other one on, just for comparison. And then you can see how it goes. I'll do it over here, just make sure I'm not gonna go through the bench or anything. So, fast speed. And that's it. The beauty of it is that it's got very minimal breakout if you compare it to conventional hole saw where it comes out the back and breaks it out. With this, because it's cutting with those teeth, it's actually given it a very nice clean hole. So that was a nice quick look at the Makita tungsten tip carbide hole saws, which come in lovely sets and they're available from all Makita dealers and also from our sponsors whose name is just coming in under the bottom there. And if you want good prices and good service as well, check out our sponsors. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Roger Bisbee. Don't forget to come back soon, see us because we've got lots more tool tests coming up. And the uh, best way to keep up with us, if you're not already a subscriber, is to subscribe because we want to see those subscribers' numbers going up and also our views going up. So if there's anything you like or don't like, don't forget you can like us or you can give us a thumbs down if you don't like us and tell us what we're doing right, tell us what we're doing wrong. We love to have your comments in the box below. Thanks a lot and I'll see you again soon.